Hello and welcome to another episode of Those Two I Am Guys with myself, James Kennedy, and my co-host, Tony Earp. I'm going to hand you over to Tony in just a moment. He's going to introduce an incredible guest that we have today. So, Tony, take it away. Yeah, sure. Hi, James. Hi, Ruben. Um, yeah, I'd just like to welcome our guest, please, guys, Ruben Romero. Um, hi, Ruben. How are you doing? Awesome. Thanks for joining us. I know it's uh, quite early where you are there. <laughs> No, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, it's midday here, so it's not too bad for us. It's not so early. Um, now, just so you know, guys, Ruben's got a fantastic product launching tomorrow uh, called Local Sites Go Ultimate Version 2. Um, after He's launching it after su the massive success of Version 1. Uh, best part of a year ago, Ruben, I think that was, yeah? A uh, little bit less than a year, actually. Yeah, pushing was, ten, uh, six, 10 months or six, so. Six, seven months, yeah. Yeah. It seems like it was yesterday, but it really is best part of a year ago. Anyway, before we get into that and you tell us all about your new awesome product, Ruben, just tell us a little bit, you know, a fun fact about yourself, please, that we're not aware of. Yeah, so um, I've actually been doing online marketing for uh, over 15 years. Um, and uh, recently, I guess, kind of the fun thing that's been going on is uh, we have been renovating a 6,000 square foot underground bunker. Um, and uh, so this is what you see behind me. Wow. Um, it's an old AT&T communication bunker. I've got 16 and a half foot ceilings. Um, we've, we started posting on TikTok. I think we have like 575,000 followers on TikTok. Exactly. And um, anyway, that's been a really fun project. Well, so. I think that's a pretty good fact to be honest with you. Not many people can claim, claim that, can they? No, no, probably not. <laughs> not. Not many people want to. I'm okay, getting well, jealous. That's actually. great, and I, I really that. appreciate you. I appreciate you sharing that with us, Ruben. Now, I think James is going to move forward with the questions we've got for you. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as I say, Ruben, obviously you have got a new product coming out. I know a little bit about it. Tony knows an awful lot about it. I'd like you to share that with our listeners and our viewers. Tell us a little bit about the product. Yeah, so um, Local Sites Go was basically born out of my, um, I don't know, it wasn't really necessity, but as you start to grow your, your own agency, and we did a lot of websites, we, we've always done a lot of websites for customers, and I love websites, and I'll, I'll get into that later, but um, when you hire people, there are some times when they don't have things to do, right? And so when they have downtime, you want them to keep working on, on something. So we actually just started building sample websites and say, hey, like let's build this niche and let's build this niche. And <clears throat> so when we get one of those, <clears throat> excuse me, one of those clients who are like, well, look, I don't have a lot of money um, to buy a website. Uh, we could still say, oh, well, you know what? We, we could build you a website because we had one basically ready to go. We could modify it, change the colors or whatever, and make it for that new client. And so it was really a way for me to capitalize on, on the downtime of my web development team um, so that they're not just sitting around, you know, and waiting for me to bring in another client, right? Like whenever we had downtime, I say, hey, go work on this, go work on, go work on these sites. And I just had a list of them um, that they would go and work on. So we did that and we thought, hey, you know, other people might benefit from this. Other people might be able to, you know, be able to create these sort of quick instant sites like, like we're doing. And uh, so we started offering it um, to, to um, other people. And um, it's been great. I mean, I've gotten a lot of feedback. I just got an email the other day from someone who said, hey, just wanted to touch base, started my agency. Um, like soon after I bought Local Sites Go, I've gotten several website deals. I've gotten things that have turned into SEO because of it. Um, so, you know, a lot of people have seen a lot of success from, from that sort of foot in the door option of being able to create a quick site for somebody. So Ruben, just to kind of clarify, Local Sites Go is a platform where you've got lots of different tools, uh, lots of different sites, and literally our people or your customers, technically, if our viewers or listeners buy it, They've got access to all these and they literally just need to download it, make a few tweaks, and they've got a website that they can sell probably within an hour's worth of work or something like that. Yeah, you, <laughs> that was probably more of what you wanted for your answer. But yeah, yeah it was. You, you, stated, <laughs> you stated it exactly. Like, um, 
yeah, basically it, you can go, you can build a website really quickly. It's a WordPress website. It's drag and it's got a drag and drop interface. So, you know, it's not hard. So the newbie can come in and like, you know, if you don't like a color, you can change a color. If you don't like something being in this spot, you can move it down to this spot. And, and again, it's all drag and drop. So it's really easy to edit, really easy to create. Um, takes a few clicks, basically two minutes to set up and then you can go modify it for your client. And so, uh, you know, it, it's been great. And it's, it's a super great tool for anyone to use to be able to build websites for local businesses. That's awesome. Yeah. Because again, I think sometimes, especially at the moment where local businesses have been a little bit paranoid after COVID and things like that, they might be not want to invest lots and lots of money. So having that opportunity to get your foot in the door with a nice basic website, um, and then, then obviously you can build upon it later on and charge them even more. I like that. Exactly. <laughs> I think you pretty much explained the main problems it solves, Ruben, and how, how that helps users. Um, who, who would you say the target audience is for this, or is it anybody, basically? Well, I mean, I, I think our, our target person is if you have an agency, if you do website development. Um, I, I'm, if you do website development, this, is, this isn't this is going to be generally your, your top of the line website. I mean, it could be a start if you wanted to use it as a start. Um, but here's, here's one of the things that you run into when you do websites is we still get the $2,000, you know, $5,000 websites, right? But we don't have to turn away the $500, the $800 websites because, you know, the people that don't have a lot of money, we can build them for them. And, and a lot of times they come back for more services. They come back for more things. The other thing I, I love about websites, and, and maybe this is something we, we want to get into a little bit later, but one of the reasons I love websites is it gets me a foot in the door with a yeah. local business. And you know, if you want to do SEO, if you want to do social media, if you want to do Facebook ads, um, a website is something you don't have to explain to a business owner because a lot of business owners, when you talk to them about SEO, we talk to them about social media ads, we talk to them, like you have to explain it. You have to sit down and say, okay, and, and for them to, even when you explain it, my experience is most of the time they still don't totally understand it, right? And so you have to build a level of trust with that business owner so that you can explain it enough that they can understand it enough, but yeah. also have that relationship that they can say, I trust you, yeah. right? And a website gives you that opportunity, especially when you host that website for the client, um, because you've got now that person's phone number and you can call them up and say hey here's what's going on with your website um have you you know we're not getting a lot of traffic to it have you thought about doing seo have you thought about doing facebook ads have you thought about doing this it gives you that foot in the door opportunity to come in and really um have that relationship of trust so that you can offer those things to them and and say hey have you thought about doing some video marketing whatever it is you do i think a website leads in to that to being able to do that with for that business and and if you build that relationship with them through the website um you know it, it, it's easy because they understand yeah. it they want it yeah, right like there's just in the u.s i think there's like five hundred thousand new businesses created every month right that's like that's a lot of new businesses sure. and about 70 percent of those businesses expect to have a website they just they, they they consider it automatic i have to have a website and so um they already want it they already need it and that's not even including the people who already have a website who you know want a new website right these are just new people new businesses that are like i i need a website like they they, they in their mind it's something they require and i've even seen businesses who are on the verge of mm -hmm. like you know they, they haven't been doing good marketing. They haven't been growing their business well. Um, they're about to close down, but they don't want to shut down their website because they feel like when their website shut down, then it's over, right? Yeah. And so they hold on to that website <laughs> despite <laughs> the fact that their business is really suffering because like that's like kind of the nail in the coffin for them. And so um, yeah. anyway, I, that's one reason why I, I love websites. No, I agree. It's a really straightforward, easy foot in the door 
Um, and it's not, as you say, it's not something you have to explain to a business or, you know, a potential business owner. Um, they already understand, generally, they understand the value of a website, don't they? So it's a very easy sell, you know, because they already know that they need a website anyway, yeah? And as you rightfully said, what that does, um, it opens then the doors for you to start offering additional services later on, yeah? And what I've noticed recently, guys, as well as, Everybody, because if we go back like to the dot com, kind of wow, everybody yeah. needs a website. Everybody's had a website for such a long time and they've not updated the website. So I've seen a few people pitching lately how to market say, listen, if your website's five or 10 years or 15 years old now, it's not working anymore. You're lost in traffic, you're lost in business, you're lost in opportunities because it's not mobile ready. Now, Ruben, I happen to know because Tony showed me your software already. Your software is good. You can stretch it. You can squeeze it down. It looks great on mobile. It looks great on tablets. It looks great on my 27-inch iMac. Um, so mobile responsive or mobile first or whatever way you would call it um, is definitely something that people now need. So looking at the way businesses have grown because we've got millions upon millions of businesses now that have got websites. So a lot of people think, oh, no, that market's dead. But really, it's not. It's actually the perfect market because everybody's trying to sell a new website to somebody that's a new business. We low startup. Startups usually have very little money. Um, so you have the opportunity of selling this to a marketplace that's already got a website that's clearly not delivering. So I love this. Yeah. And, I, you know, I think, you know, we fall into the trap, like those of us who have agencies, is we fall into the trap of we know to almost too much. And so when we see like the new latest and greatest, like, like, oh, hey, this is, this will like do this pop up and it'll, you know, it's going to like do something that's never been done and it uses like AI and it's going to transform the business world. You know, we, we look at that and we think, oh, wow, this is so cool. Like, this is so neat. And we, we want to jump in and buy those things. And we forget that those businesses aren't thinking about those types of things. They're not thinking about AI. They're not thinking about, um, you know, pop-up chat, communicating, wh whatever it is, fill in the blank. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, disparage anything out there, but like that's so far away from their thinking. They're thinking about websites. They're thinking about traffic. They're thinking maybe if you're lucky, they're thinking about email marketing, right? And like, that's not like 90% of, of businesses out there. That's what they need. They need a website, they need traffic and they, and if they're really on the ball, they need some type of email marketing. Uh, and, and that sounds crazy to us because that sounds so simple. Right. Um, and, and, and we generally want to make things like sh we're attracted to those shiny and new things and we want to buy them. Um, but trying to go, I've, I've gone, I've done it. I've gone and tried to explain those things to the business owner. And most of the time they're like, eh, <laughs> I don't yeah. get it. It's not really for me. Like they'll sometimes, if I've got a good relationship with them, they'll do it and they'll, they'll move forward with it uh, and they'll pay for it. Um, but most of the time they're not interested. It's, it's not gonna help their business because they don't have those bases. They don't have those first three. Right, which is the website, the traffic, and 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 maybe some email marketing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, I was going to say, I mean, I think ultimately, what business we like shiny toys, don't we? We like gadgets and business <laughs> plenty. You know? uh, but ultimately, I mean, people are looking for. First of all, a lot of people then don't even take for the don't even take for granted the fact that a website gives them credibility. They're established. They've got a website. They've got a telephone number. You know, they've got their products, their gallery, they've got what they need to be showing people, their ideal customers, which is most important, which takes me on to the next question, Ruben. Some people that will be watching or listening to this uh, podcast or watching our, our show uh, might not be the most technically minded. We might like gadgets and stuff like that, but is there full training for the product so that we can actually help people that have never used or designed a website or done anything with a website before is there tutorials there to help them yeah so in the membership area you come in um you can if you're new to Word, wordpress we've got some videos in there to help you learn the basics of wordpress um it and and then the also to learn how to use elementor which is which is the page builder that we use 
And, um, you know, just to touch on that a little bit, you know, because we actually have purchased similar products to local sites go in the past um, that then a year later, they weren't updated. They were unusable. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't use them. They used an outdated page builder. They used something proprietary. And so what we decided to do when we, when we decided to build these sites is that we were going to use something out there, which is basically the most popular page builder for WordPress out there, which is Elementor, right? And it's, it's, um, there's a free, they have a free version, but they also have a paid version. We just use the free version in our, in our website. So you don't have to pay anything extra for, for the pro version. And we include widgets that you would normally have to pay for from the, from the pro version. We include that in local sites go. And so, so, you know, you don't really feel like you're missing out too much as far as widgets and, and some of the features that you would get from the pro <clears throat> you can actually get that from local sites go and um, the and the main reason we decided to do that was so that this product lasts right so we we've we've used products that we that that business has a business model they're very popular people still use them they're going to go on way past um, most of the products you're going to see advertised to agencies um, because that's that's not you know, they're not inside the JV Zoo market. They've got their own business. They're successful. They're growing, and so it's going to be around for for pretty much forever. Uh, and so you don't have to worry about something going outdated. Something you know, in a year, you know, oh well, now I have to buy version two because <laughs> version one's totally outdated. Oh, and by the way, and this is this is this is a true story. This happened with one of the products I bought. By the way, there's no migration from version one to version two. So now not only do I have to buy version two to keep this working, but I, there's, I can't, I have to go and redo all of my sites from version one to, to start using version two. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing this to my business because this costs me too much you know, time and resources and money to go and redo these sites. All of our stuff is, it, it are using uh, as min, as much as we can. We are using plugins out there that are supported, that are used, that have business models, um, um, and and they're all being included in local sites go. So you can use them and not have to worry about you know some of the things I ran into, which is things going outdated and or not working. Well, that's amazing that obviously that's all included, but also horrendous what you had to get through because I would be pulling my hair out if I bought a product now. Just to kind of, guys, if some of you that are watching and listening right now and you don't know what kind of Ruben was talking about, the JV Zoom models, and there's a couple of platforms out there where literally if people bring a product out, maybe on Warrior Plus or JV Zoo, and if they don't sell as many products as they would like, they literally drop it within a month or two. So there's no support, there's no updates, and literally whatever you've spent on this product is absolutely rendered useless if you've not bought a good product that obviously has a, a long game plan in, in place. So if you watch one of our very first episodes, which was Webinar Loop, Tony, tell me, Webinar Loop. Yeah, Webinar Loop, yeah. Yeah, a version 2, V2. I knew there was something else there. Webinar yeah, Loop V2. Too, yeah. And the creator, uh, Cyril Jeet, uh, Cyril Gupta, sorry. He always, his products are Jeet. That's what get me confused. That's there. correct, yeah. Cyril Gupta um, has been supporting his products for years upon years. So when you do buy one of his products, you know you're going to get that support. But if it's something new and you don't think that's going to, you don't know the, re the track record, then it's a bit more of a gamble in that environment. Ruben's created this product specifically for our people going forward in tools that are supported by multi-million pound support teams. So ultimately, even if Ruben decided to kind of, um, there's a nuclear strike in his bunker and he's not coming out ever again, <laughs> then r the reality is, it's all still going to be A-OK -okay for you. And the product version one, version two, is all going to be absolutely flying and still supported with the platforms that they were created on. James, Amazing, just great to, James, just to indicate to our viewers and listeners um, how popular Elementor is, I think last year, Ruben, they passed 2 million users. Wow. Yeah, um, no, there's a there's Yeah, a they passed just over 2 million users. That was last year. So 
I don't know what the number is now, but it's you know it's a very very popular page builder by far by far the pop most popular for sure. Yeah, it's definitely as I say, it, it's the one that I hear most, and then there's another couple after that. But that's definitely the one that pops up pretty much all the time. Well, I'm not just saying this, James. It's the one I use. It's uh -huh. my personal preference as well, um, and that's not just because. Ruben's on here and he's, uh, you know, telling us all about local sites go. It's genuinely the page builder I use the choice. Well, I'm looking forward to play with this new version. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, another question for you. Can you talk us through the funnel a little bit, please? Sure. So we have um, a few um, additional offers. It, it, so you can get local sites go, which includes 100 um, different niches and different designs. So you can go in and just, you know, pick the niche and and build one of those pages yeah. uh, with a hundred different niches, each, each with their own design. Um, that's the front end offer. You get all of the all of the extra widgets and everything is included with that. And then there's a few a few bonuses as well. Um, on the we do have a pro version. Now, one of the things that often happens with pro versions and you'll get into it, you'll get into a sales Ruben, funnel. Sorry to interrupt you. Can you just tell us the price point on the front end, please? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's, um, it, we're going to do a special, a special price. But, uh, um, yeah, um, sorry, it, I think it's 37.99, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's a special price. Now, local sites go version one. After our launch, we raised the price to $99 and still had sales coming through, right? People were still coming in and buying it um, even after that price was raised. So uh, we plan on doing the same thing with Local Sites Go version two. Um, but, you know, cause you get, you get a hundred different sites. I mean, that, I don't know what that comes to, but I know that, you know, it's if you're paying a dollar, you're paying a, if you're paying, yeah, if you're paying a dollar a site, like it, that's a good deal. And, and with this launch, you're paying much less than that. So yeah. $37.99. Um, 30 cents. And um, so I'm $37.99. Um, with our pro version, what we decided to do is we're not going to hold any features back from version one. So if you want to go and get like the regular local sites go over, I mean, local sites go version two um, thing, you're, you're not going to get any additional features from pro, except you get three additional designs. Right. And the reason that's important is because um, when you go and you offer a website to a company, if you, if you only offer them one option, there's something in our brains that makes us want to say, well, what else could I get? Right. What, what are, what are, what are my other options? Right. And, and, I, and I know a lot of people have, have heard from different sales funnels. Uh, you may have heard that you know you want to limit people's options and that is true you do want to limit people's options but you don't want to limit it to one because when you limit it to one then people start thinking what what else like they want at least two and if you give them three or four that's 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 even better i wouldn't go past four right but like i, I like to do three three is my favorite um ruben just to clarify that's three designs per niche yeah three designs per niche. So it, so each, when you get pro, you get three additional designs per niche. So that's 300 additional sites wow. um, uh, for each of those awesome. niches. So if you want to do one of those sites, we'll offer some, you can say, hey, I've got this one and I've got this one. You don't even have to put content in it. I don't, I don't 90% of the time, I don't put content in the site. I say, here's the design now you write content for the site. I've turned that over to the business because <clears throat> here's the other thing that I've run into, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, when you ask a business to write content for a website, they send you over like a paragraph per page, right? Have you, if you've ever done a website for someone yeah. and you ask them for content, they're like, here's my content. And you're like, great, now I have to build a design over a paragraph. <laughs> but when you send them a site that's fully designed and they can see where the information can go and what it could look like and what it could possibly be that opens up their mind to say oh i could put this here and i could put this text here and i could put this text here 
Um, so, you know, a, a lot of people ask me, well, why don't you build your sites with content? And well, there's a lot of reasons why we don't do that, but you want to give them the visual so they write the content. You know, it's better for their SEO if it's original content. It's better for everyone's SEO if not everyone has the same content on, on every page or similar content. Yeah. Um, and, but if they have that design, then they understand, oh, and you know, you can, they're like, I can't think of anything to put here. Like, okay, we can take, you know, it's a click to take it off, right? But like you give them that design and then they can build it, right? So you want to give them the three designs uh, three, you could give them up to four, but give, give them up to three designs and then they get to choose. And then what that does is that prevents them from thinking, well, what other options do I have out there? You've given them the options. You, you've provided the options so their brain doesn't think, let me go look for something else. Um, but that's the pro version, all of the same. I'm not holding anything back as far as features go from, version, from the regular version to the pro version. So you don't have to worry about, oh, well, I have to buy the pro version because it has this one feature that is exclusive to pro. Um, you know, there are a few bonuses that come with the pro version as well that don't come with the, but they're, but they're not features of the thing. Yeah, pe people that. hate having to pay extra for that, Ruben, don't they? We've been in that situation ourselves where you, you're forced to buy an OTO because you want that extra functionality. It's really, really good to see that you've not done that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And... Um, both the main version and the upgraded version, you can buy um, unlimited website access to that. So in, also sometimes you fall into an OTO where they're like, oh, okay, but if you want to use it for more than one, three. more than 10 <laughs> websites, oh, yeah, yeah. Or more than three websites, it's like, well, it's useless for me if I can't use it for more than three websites, right? We'll push the um, that. That's how But in the front end, you can, you, you can, there, we do have two versions. One, you know what, if you just want one version, if you just want one website, we do have that. You do, we do have that option, but we have an option for unlimited, which isn't a much, we're not pricing it much more for the launch. It's, it's going to be a really low price. Um, <clears throat> but um, Yeah, the, the difference in price, I can tell our viewers and our listeners, Ruben, it's negligible. You know, yeah, but there, it's, there, it's there, a no-brainer, guys, to think about, really. Yeah, yeah, and um, I, I believe um, what what Anthony um, remind me what we priced that at. <laughs> uh, Sixty-seven ninety-nine for pro. Sixty-seven for three hundred websites. So that's yeah. even less per website than you're yeah. paying on the front end. So. Yeah. Um, for 300 websites, I don't, again, I don't know what the math is. I'm not going yeah, to embarrass it's, myself it's with sense, trying to do it. It's sense it's, for site, isn't it? It's, it's a ridiculously low amount, yeah. Yeah. Can I just can I just say something, guys, as well? Go ahead. When you were talking about the Ruben, you were saying if you give them one option, they're looking for another option. It's when you give them one option, there is only one option. It's either yes or no. But when you give them three options, it's list, it's literally, I'm not sure about that one. I quite like that one, but I really like that one. Yeah. I'll go with that. The you thing know, is as well, must be so yeah. much higher. The thing is as well, James, clients generally like to be in the choice process. Yeah, absolutely. They want to feel like they've like um, had some input. So by choosing the actual design from three or four designs, that, that's their contribution basically, yeah? And the fact yeah. that the content with those little boxes where they can put the content, because let's be honest, you could be the best copywriter on the planet, but if you're not a plumber or you're not an electrician or an HVAC guy or whatever that may be, you don't know the terminologies. You don't know anything about it. That person knows that industry and knows their customers and what the customer wants better than anybody that's a professional copywriter. So well, make it, sense. as an example, James, if you take the about us section or page, Nobody knows about that business better than the business owner, do they? And as Ruben touched on, it's critical from an SEO perspective as well that they write yeah. their own content. It, and if, if if they want help with content, that's an extra sale. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, why would you include that when like you can already price it pretty much as low as you feel comfortable doing because it takes you a couple minutes to build. Um, but that's a that's an extra sale where you can go in and say, hey, you want help with your copywriting, you want help with this, you know, and they can give you some information and you can copyright it. I mean, that's where a lot of my sales comes from is that they don't come from websites. To me, a website is a relationship builder, but my sales come from those, those upsells of saying, hey, you want SEO? Hey, you want Facebook ads? Hey, you want help with copywriting? You want help with X, Y, and Z? And like, you know, I, I think one mistake a lot of newbies um, who are starting an agency start 
um, make is they they offer way too much um, for way too little, yeah. right? And you can offer low low end prices. I'm not against offering low end prices on the front end, and I think often that can help you grow, especially at the beginning. Um, but uh, you you'll you'll find you'll find out really quickly that uh, you're you're giving way too much for way too little when when you yeah. when you start throwing in copywriting and websites and all this type of thing, you know, give them something that they can afford. And, you know, most of the time they'll come back and say, oh, well, can you help yeah. me with your copywriting? And if, it, if, it's, if it's too cheap as well, Ruben, it sends some alarm bells off with the potential customer that um, yeah. on the testing I've done previously, um, most customers tend to go for the middle quote. So they don't go for the cheapest. They don't go for the most expensive. They'll go for the one straight down the middle. Um, a that's lot of psychology the, that's to certainly that. from the yeah from the split testing I've done. That's always been the case. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of psychology. <clears throat> there's one thing I forgot to mention. Um, between version one and version two, one thing we've added to ver version two of Local Sites Go Pro Pro and um, and regular is universal color control. Um, the reason we didn't offer it in version one was because it didn't exist <laughs> when, we, when we built version one. Um, but Elementor had, has upgraded. They've built um, something into their system. So basically, you can go in and um, change the color for the site uh, in one location for the entire site, right? And now that required us to, as we're building them, to be very mindful about how we use the colors and how we arrange the colors and, and, and you know, assign a global color to each element. So we've, got, we've gone through the sort of painful process of assigning global colors to each and every element of the website so that you can go in and basically just say, oh, you don't like green? How about red? Oh, you don't like this red? How about this shade of red? And so you can go and basically um, get whatever color that exists in 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 the color um, you know in the color palette for computers. Um, yep. You can make it any color at all for the website, and uh, a lot of them include a uh, primary color, a secondary color. Um, sometimes there there's an accent color, uh, and um, you can go in and adjust those to, so that you can basically change the color to match the business's colors Fun. that they already use. Amazing, fantastic. Now. There's one final OTO, I believe, uh, Ruben. Yeah, there's actually, there's actually there's this, two. Yeah, this, this two isn't the all together, but one really isn't an OTO, as I would yeah. describe it, but I understand what you mean. There's another two offers, yeah? Yeah, um, okay. Do you want to talk us through those, please? Sure. So um, the, the, the third one is a, it's a landing page so that, you, you know, if, you know, um, and it's basically, it's built on Elementor. Um, you don't have to change the whole website. So local sites go is to build an entire website from beginning to end, right? Um, landing page go is, is our third offer and it will, it will allow you to build a, a Google, basically a Google ready website and it, um, for, for a landing page. And, you know, one of the great things about building landing pages for businesses is <clears throat> your ability to find a business that is actively spending money on marketing, right? Most businesses that are spending money on things like AdWords are not sending their customers to a landing page and they're losing money because of that. So what landing page go is, is basically so someone can come in, they can, you can build a landing page for these businesses. Um, instead of going after a business where you've got to, they're like, oh, I don't have any money. I mean, I, I'm, we've all found those businesses. Oh yeah, I'd love to hire you. I don't have any money. They're like, oh, okay, great. Why, do, why are we talking? <laughs> um, but, but the great thing about having landing pages is you can go after businesses who are actively spending money, find businesses who have um, something on AdWords, something on Facebook or whatever, and, and, and they're, they're spending money, but they're not maximizing the amount of money that they're spending, right? So you, you're able to help them through landing page go to build a, a landing page um, that will optimize their conversion, right? And conversion is so important when it comes to, when it, when it comes to marketing because 
I mean, if you spent, if you, if you're, let's say you're spending a thousand dollars a month on advertising, right? If you want to double what you're making, you've got to double your price of how much you're spending, right? If you want to double your conversion, you don't have to spend twice as much to double your conversion. Like you, there, there are, there are key things you can do even one time and, and, and double your conversion um, so that you're not um, having to pay um, twice as much every month. Um, and and that's, that's an easy sale to someone who's spending money to say, hey, instead of doubling your budget, why don't we work on doubling your conversion? And, and then you can, you can build them a landing page on the website that they already have. So landing page go, it's, it's a little bit different from local sites go. Um, we use uh, Elementor's native import feature. So you do have to install Elementor, but you don't have to use it on the rest of the site. Um, you install it, you import one of these uh, landing pages. We give you a worksheet that basically walks the client through. Here's exactly what you put onto the landing page um, and, and you build them a landing page and you can charge um, you can charge 500, you can charge 2000. And you honestly, you can value it on how much they're spending, right? So if they're spending $5,000 a month, um, you can value it at several thousand dollars to build, help them build a landing page. And, and our worksheet basically walks, not just them through it, but you through it. So you don't have to be a master copywriter either, because you can just follow our worksheet give that to them and say, here, you know, fill this out. And, you know, you could help them if you want to, but uh, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Fantastic. And we've got one more offer in the funnel. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, in case you missed um, local sites, go version one, uh, we were making it available to anyone who maybe missed out. They, you want to add those additional niches um, that were involved with local sites. One, like I said, almost every feature from local sites, Go version one is included in version two. The main difference is that in version two, you get different niches and you get global color control. That, we, that was not built with version one, um, but it is available um, for you because they're still great websites. They're still easy to build and this still includes a bunch of niches that you may want to include. So, so basically, Ruben, just so I'll, again, for the benefit of our viewers and listeners, um, ver the version one bundle uh, which is the final OTO um, in the funnel. It's $127. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And $127, now $127, but wow, what value you're getting for that. I mean, well, every, everything Ruben's just mentioned in version two, you're getting all of that in a bundle, but the version one bundle for $127. It's just insane value, guys. Right. And and you're actually getting, you're actually getting um I think it's 600 different websites in 150 different niches. Oh, so uh, for 127, $127, uh, which again, I don't know, is like maybe 30 Less cents. than a dollar. Less than <laughs> 30, yeah, 30 less cents, than I think dollar. something like that. So, um, um, and, you know, again, you don't have to buy that, but it's, it's there available to anyone who maybe missed out. And, you know, people have asked us, hey, like I missed out on this. Sure. Can I still get version one? So yeah. we just wanted to make it available for those who may have missed out. And if they, uh, if they did miss out, they're getting a, a bundle of everything for a very, very low one-time price there. So just to clarify, Ruben, it's launching tomorrow on JVZoo. That's correct. 11 a.m. EST, yeah? That's correct. Fantastic. Guys, we'll have all the information below this video anyway. Uh, we've got some amazing bonuses for you in our bonus package. So we'll have the full information. Um, and then you can go out and check Ruben's amazing new product. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for having me. You're very welcome. I think James has got one more. He, he loves this last question, Ruben. I'll let him deliver it to you. Right, Ruben. I, I want you just to condense this down when, when I'm telling it to you. I want you to think about how you can say this in the fewest words to tell our people the kind of most direct route. But here it is. This is I love this one. If you had to start again tomorrow with online business with nothing but a laptop and $100 and the intelligence in your head, what would you do and how would you go about it? So the first thing I would do is I would buy a hosting package that I can put multiple websites on. And I'd, I'd go out and start offering websites to people and, and just let everyone know, hey, I do websites. Um, you know what? And, and honestly, 
even when there was a time period when I, I stopped doing websites. Um, and uh, even then, everyone I knew when they would tell other people what I did, they'd say websites. So <laughs> I learned very quickly that websites are something people get, right? If, if I tell someone I do SEO, most of them don't get that. If I tell someone I do Facebook ads, most people don't get that. And, and when I did a little, I, I started leaning a little bit more and doing those things, um, people still said, oh, hey, oh yeah, what does he do? He does websites because that's what people get. And so I would be out there, I would be offering people websites. I'd be talking to people about websites. I'd offer um, to do some websites for free for people um, because um, then I have, hey, look, here are the websites that I've done locally in this area for these businesses. And I would showcase specifically those local websites to new potential clients in that area and say, and we, and we can do a website for you. And that, that's, that's what I would do because it's the easiest sale. It's the quickest sale. It's the quickest way to make money. Uh, it's the quickest, the best foot in the door. And then I'd host those websites because when I host those websites, that gives me access to that business owner and to more sales. Because yep. when I can call, like, I mean, if, if I told you, if there was, if you had a list of a hundred buying business owners that you could call up on the phone, could you have a successful agency? And I, and I, I bet 90% of the people out there could have a successful agency if they could just call up a hundred different businesses that they have the ear, they have their ear, they have their attention, right? So if you can get a hundred people on hosting, um, you know, and it could, it could, you know, it does, almost doesn't matter what you charge. You do need to charge something because you want that biz. You don't just want a relationship. Oh, I do things for you for free. You want a business relationship. Yeah, with them. you want that monetary transaction. Exactly. That, yeah. that to me is a real business relationship. Sure. But when you have that, you can call them up and you can say, hey, you know, do you have time? I'd love to talk to you about, you know, getting more traffic to your website, getting more customers. And, and, and that is worth way more then you know all the all the things that people out there the shiny new objects that people are offering out there um, because um, those things don't get you that foot in the door those things don't get you that ability to talk to them and and the ability to sell them stuff that's you know thousands of dollars um you know monthly right to say hey we can do this for you monthly we can do this seo we can do these adwords whatever you know, charge them yeah. um, those bigger prices and build that relationship. So there's nothing in my mind. And no, that's me because um, I tend to be a little bit introverted um, and um, I struggle with, with sales maybe more than other people. If you're a dynamite salesperson, absolutely, probably go out there, sell $5,000 right up front. I'm not that person. I'm, I'm an introvert. I, you know, I, I take some time for me to build relationships with people, um, to build that trust. Sure. Um, and, and so websites give me that foot in the door, that easy sale to be able to, to do that over time. Like I feel like I need to, yeah. and because I think I'm the golden not a nugget, sorry. I'm saying the thing, I think the golden nugget you gave away there that maybe people didn't really realize was the fact that you're talking about building those three, two or three websites for free in that area, in certain niches, because now, Tony that lives in wherever is now. I'm not telling everybody, Tony, I don't want them all coming to <laughs> you. Know, yeah, I don't want them knocking your door, you know. But <laughs> literally, Tony in his town is, is a plumber. And he's, you say, Listen, Tony, I done Bob the Builder, Bob the Builder's website yesterday. You know, Bob, look at his website. That's amazing. Bob loves it. Would you like a website as good as Bob's? It's tangible, it's local, it's relatable. And Tony knows the person. So there's trust there just in offering that. Now, a lot of people watching might be, and I hope they're not, of a small minded mentality thinking, Oh, I'm going to have to go and do work and spend time and effort and not get paid. Well, most people sit here being trying to be salespeople, spending time and effort trying to get people to buy things off them on a daily basis and never actually convert. As opposed to if you can actually, it's easy to convert somebody to give them a free something. And if you could do two or three of those, then that is your sales tools. And from, from that moving forward, you'll get to say, listen, Bob the Builder got this. Look at what he said about the website. Of course, he's going to give you a great testimonial. You give him it free. You just I don't tell him. Uh, I think what, Ruben said earlier, James is spot on. It's, it gets you your foot in the door, doesn't it? That's the thing. And the other thing, guys, don't assume that a business has got a website because I think if you did your research, 
even in your local area, you'd be amazed at how many businesses just don't have a website. And some of the ones that they've got are awful. And I'll tell you why. Oh, I yeah. was talk- Wix and Squarespace and all those, they don't count, James. I, no, no. I was <laughs> talking to a, a person um, who is in uh, construction. You know, it builds the frameworks for buildings, big businesses. And he says, this is my main competition. This, is com- this company's turning over 50 to 100 million a year. I'm like, I want to go and have a look at their website. My God, it was the worst website I've ever seen. It was tiny. It was. It looks as if my kid could have done it. It was that basic and boring. And I'm thinking, this is a company that's making millions upon millions a year, and they've got this rubbish little website. What could you do if you could get your foot in the door with them and show them what we could do to convert them from 50, 50 million a year to getting new clients? It could. You could double their business with the right website. How much is that worth to them if you get your foot in the door? Yeah. Amazing, guys. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Tony, um, always a pleasure with you. Ruben, I'm hugely impressed with your, your platform going forward. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see it. Um, Tony, do you have any final words to, before we, we go? Just to thank Ruben very much for taking the time out to join us today. It's been uh, awesome having you here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the launch. Uh, no doubt it's going to be a huge success, just like uh, version one was. And uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time to be with us, Ruben. And you've definitely got me. Yeah, thanks for having me. (laughs) Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And don't forget to check. um, There'll be a link below the video um, to to our bonus page. Um, Tony is the king of bonuses by far uh, on the planet. (laughs) There is nobody does bonuses like Tony does bonuses. So check that link out below and definitely jump in and Ruben's latest launch. I have been inside, had a look at it already. It's incredible. I thought version one was amazing. This is taking it to a whole new level. So check it out. Thanks again, Ruben, Tony, amazing. And we will see you all and listeners as well. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next episode of Those 2IM Guys. See you all later, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks.